The other type of main memory or real memory is read-only memory or ROM. Now we're comfortable with many different types of read-only memory. True read-only memory is memory that is burned in or actually put on a chip at the manufacturing location. One type of read-only memory is where we would store the lowest level instructions that would never ever change. Now keep in mind true read-only memory can never be changed. You may notice that whenever you boot up a machine there's some sort of test that occurs that's kind of testing through the memory and it just tests the different components and if you have something such as a keyboard that's not attached you'll get several beeps that mean certain things. Well, this is a test program called the Power On Self Test or POST. POST testing, or rather POST, is normally put into ROM by the actual motherboard manufacturer such that it can never be changed. It's a test that actually occurs every time you boot the machine. Now, there are many newer versions where the POST is actually installed in a type of read-only memory that you can change. Now, that may be a type of programmable read-only memory. And we're going to build this about two more layers so stick with the acronyms here. Read-only memory or ROM means you can never change it. Programmable read-only memory or PROM is read-only memory that is typically shipped from the chip manufacturer with nothing on it. It's pristine memory but the value-added dealers can program it. Now this is a very common mechanism that's used for small devices. Modems would be a good example of that. When modems were the primary connection mechanism with the outside world you would constantly get chips that would come from the manufacturer. Then value-added dealers would burn their own code into these PROM chips and then freeze their code and ship the modem as their own modem. So you could get it from a manufacturer, stamp your own name on it, put your own code in it, and sell it as if you manufactured the modem yourself. 